There's a common marketing tactic called the lead magnet. You've either experienced it as a business owner or as a consumer. Uh, the idea is you go to somebody's website and they're offering you some helpful information, some special report or an ebook or a, a video series or something, but all you got to do to download it or access it is to give your email address over. That's called the lead magnet because you are becoming one of their leads, one of their potential customers, uh, and it's a magnet because it attracted you to put your email address in. It was very, it's been, it's been popular for, for many years, but I stopped doing it years ago, and I stopped recommending it to my clients years ago. And there are a lot of reasons why I'll put, I'll put most of those reasons in the notes of the video because it's raining right now. I want to keep the video short. But I would say the main reason is that it doesn't create a true audience. It creates a forced audience. People who were really attracted, yes, by your, by your freebie, by the thing that they want to download from you, but they're not really that interested in getting ongoing emails from you. And they may even feel just a little, I mean, to start the relationship, forcing someone to do something in order to, to benefit them is not a great start to the relationship. And so it already has a feeling of, a little bit of feeling of, of resentment or a little bit of um, force uh, that's there. And I built a large email list with, with lead magnets. And I realized that most of the people didn't want to get my ongoing emails. My open rates for my emails kept going down and down and down. And so it was demoralizing. And that's not helpful for me as a business owner or, or for you as a business owner either. You would, wouldn't you rather have a, a, you know, yes, you could have a large email list of people who most of them, vast majority don't care about you, or you can have a smaller email list uh, of more uh, proportion of them who really do care about you and to open your emails and read your emails. That is much more encouraging. It's going to be good for your creativity. And just when you outreach and ask them for advice or, I mean, for, for opinions about what you should create, you're going to get more feedback as well. So, um, and, and the last thing I'll say about lead magnets is it's really old school. I mean, people expect information to be freely available now just by Googling or by, you know, seeing it on YouTube or whatever or Facebook, not by, oh, having to give an email address to, to read something or to watch something is really outdated. Okay. Um, I don't really even see the requirement to have people join my email list anymore. I just reach people. I reach you where you're at. Maybe you watch this on YouTube. Maybe you are a YouTube subscriber. I don't care if you join my email list. As long as, you know, I'm serving you with my videos and you watch them, I, I'm grateful, you know. Maybe, I have a lot of Facebook, um, subscribe, Facebook fans who are not on my email list. They just, you know, faithfully watch my videos or read my articles on Facebook. That's great. I even have some people who follow my articles on medium.com and they're not subscribed to my newsletter. And at the same time, I also have some email subscribers who are not using social media uh, on a consistent basis. So, so the idea that I really believe in, that I've seen, that's been successful for me and for the people I've recommended it to, reach people where they're at. Don't feel like you have to require everybody to join your email list in order to, to take them to the next step of, of, of the conversation. I hope this is helpful and as always, I'll have more thoughts in the notes of the video.